Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy Sunday. Happy Easter Sunday. I hope everybody is having a fantastic day and had a great weekend. I uh, just wanted to run over the charts, the usual suspects. Got a big week coming up. We have uh, tech earnings. We have Tesla earnings. We have Netflix. Uh, Bank of America and Schwab report in the morning. And uh, we're going to talk about the overall structure, uh, where I think things are headed. And of course, map out our levels. So uh, let's start with SPX as usual. I think we're headed uh, back down to the golden pocket. Uh, we're, we're back in, I believe, a bearish structure. You know, everything I talk about is, is uh, market structure. Are we going up or are we going down? In this case, I believe we're headed right back down. Uh, we can look at different time frames. We can determine that these things uh, that things have changed. So uh, SPX on the weekly, we've dropped below the ADMA as to where last week we were uh, kind of neutral, you know, and not not too high up, not too low. Had a nice range, um, nice range to play with. But you know, we tested the ADMA last week and bounced. Uh, the The week that we just closed, uh, we closed under the ADMA, and I believe. Uh, we have more downside. So what does that mean? Uh, we'll go to NQ. I think we head back down to the golden pocket NQ as well. We're also at a level where we've had several touches uh, and and didn't get the best bounces, didn't get the best reaction. Uh, maybe dead count bounce if you're going to call it the uh, call it that. But I think we're headed at least to the golden pocket and maybe even lose it. Come down to the point seven, eight, six. So, again, what does that mean for tech? Uh, tech wreck. A lot of things are set up to retrace back to levels that they were just at. You know, just you know what, two or three weeks ago. Uh, Apple. We can see this head back down to the golden pocket, which coincidentally lines up with this long-term trend line here before possibly bouncing. I think we're just range bound for some time now. Uh, frustrating for swing traders and 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 you know something that can be profitable for day traders. So you know if you keep your positions tight you keep them short you know it's really not a reason to swing anything but you know i think we come back and we test this this long 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 term trend line that we have here on apple again we lost the adma golden pocket lines up it just makes sense uh, tesla tesla has earnings this week uh wednesday i believe 420 elon is a funny guy so uh, in the discord i mentioned that Anything above 987 um, was kind of healthy for for Tesla. Uh, it closed below that. Next up, I think is 950. That's the 0.5. If we don't get a bounce there, you know, heading into earnings, I think we can, you know, slip right back down to the golden pocket. Um, Tesla really respects fibs, you know, from the years that I've traded it. Uh, it loves to come back down to this 0.786. So if there's anything that the market doesn't like or, you know, if they're trading uh, Elon poorly, I think we can expect to see uh, the golden pocket first and then uh, just an overreaction down to the 0.786. I know it sounds extreme. I know eight, anything in the 800 sounds extreme. It's 200 points away. But, you know, you look at the structure, you know, we're just making higher highs and higher lows on the daily. The weekly, I'm sure, doesn't look uh, too good as well. Uh, big upper wick. Uh, it's held the the ADMA hasn't tested it yet, but I think this week we, we probably see a test of that. Uh, we do have upper wicks again, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, and we're just gonna you know repeat the pattern. So Facebook, not much to say on Facebook earnings as well coming up on the 27th, so that is next uh, two weeks away. So not this week, but the following week. Not much to say on this. I mean, you know trapped under under 250 and, and using 195 support it's, it's unplayable to me amazon is also unplayable we're here at the golden pocket this is also a bear flag setup very ugly just tech does not look good it's uh not a good time in my opinion to be in tech calls fix that up but this is a clear bear flag you know right at the golden pocket if it doesn't bounce i believe we come right back to 2800 2840 is uh the one-to-one -one extension, but I, I definitely can see a scenario where we just completely blow past the golden pocket and uh, and retest this this 2800 again. So uh, 
uh, again, especially if the, the entire market is, again, is, is, if the market is shifting and we're just going to follow this downtrend, this, this channel, this SPX channel, this ES channel, uh, there's no reason for anything else to go up. So bear flag on Amazon, likely a bear flag on Google as well. Yes, there is. Again, very clear. Let me get my, my Picasso brush out again. And we've lost everything on Google. Google's unplayable to me on both sides. Uh, unless you got, you know, you got in days ago and you were playing puts down to 2,500. I know some people were. But, you know, if this breaks bare, uh, you know, watch out. Uh, Google's really just been unplayable uh, since they've announced the split anyway. So very difficult to play. Uh, options at least. But, you know, it's thin under here. What, you know, what do you do after... What do you do after 2,500? You, know, you don't bounce there. It's it's bleak. So I know they have a split coming up too. Uh, earnings on the 26th, split on July 18th. So we'll see what happens there. I expect I expect a bounce at some point on Google. I just I can't see it flushing all the way down. Netflix earnings. Netflix has done nothing but shop around. This could be the new range here. You know if you go back talked about this in several videos this long consolidation here uh, did this for I want to say a year and a half you know, is this the new setup down below is that now this is this what we're gonna chop around and do for an extended period of time for weeks for months um, I, I don't I don't think there's any more selling on Netflix I think everything with that is priced in but I also don't see it shooting up to 400 as well 450 or anything like that getting back into this range and chopping into this I just don't see it shop is in trouble uh, last week's weekly watch list video I talked about this bar here and we had 10 or 11 bars uh, inside the mother bar here and I said that you could take you know 800 calls up or 650 puts below uh, on Monday and that was a killer trade um, th there was only one way it was gonna you know obviously there's only one way it can go up or down but it was gonna be massive whichever way it was going to be uh, and it was so if you go back to Monday um, what's that, Thursday Friday Monday April 4th you know we again we traded right here inside the mother bar at 711 uh, I hopped into some 550 puts. Uh, those end up being a, a couple hundred percent. It was a really good trade. Cut short. Um, could have made a lot more money uh, on some of these more volatile days, but um, yeah, so it's fine. Uh, what I see next for shop, it might as well head back down to to 511, right? You know, if we if we can't get a bounce here at the 0.786 because it's blown past the golden pocket, if we can't get a bounce here. Uh, one to one extension just makes sense. You know, 511, 500 overshoot again, especially if tech is uh, down, out, and ugly. Roku, if there's one name that I want to short when tech is really, really weak, it is Roku. Uh, Roku gets beat up very bad, very, very poorly uh, when tech is doing bad. Uh, if this breaks, I'm looking for $100 puts, and I expect them to get in the money. Again, all of it depends on what NQ does, but this is a as safe a trade as you can get. It either bounces here or it doesn't. So you can get in $100 puts or you can get in you know $125 calls this week. Uh, but if tech is overall weak, if NQ is weak, if SPX is slipping, uh, I expect NQ, um, excuse me, Roku to lose this trend line here. And head back down to uh, to 100, maybe even 97, like it was before or, uh, previously. And this is on the four-hour chart. Nvidia. Last but not least, chips are in trouble. We have several touches down here, and it's bounced every single time. Market conditions matter, though. So here we are. Monday morning, opening up, whenever we open, wherever we open. Uh, if it doesn't get a strong bounce, again, if tech, you know, is weak, uh, we're going sub 200 on NVIDIA. 
uh, below uh, what is that? 196 um, is probably a state of emergency for uh, for Nvidia. You know, it's it's lost this ADMA and it's been on a it's been on a downturn for you know days now, and uh, it got a head start before everything else. Uh, look how far it is removed from the ADMA on the weekly. Uh, not a good sign. I'm probably leaning more towards uh, puts on this uh, just because, again, it got a head start before everything else did. Really ugly. Uh, chips are in trouble. AMD um, probably looks the same. I haven't looked at that chart yet. Uh, and I won't pull it up just because, uh, you know, uh, you play one chip, you play them all. So, uh, Last but not least, I've been trading a little crypto lately. I got bit by the crypto bug. Uh, BitGit lets you trade futures um, here in the United States so uh, Luna has been pretty good to me uh, the past week or so I'll do some live trading on that maybe do some videos on that just to you know expand the channel expand the uh, you know the stuff we talk about but you know I started playing some of this stuff here on the trend line um, you know longing the trend line shorting shorting up here at resistance um, the thing about crypto is it really respects technicals it really respects levels uh, almost almost like a Tesla almost like you know Apple just at a much you know uh, faster rate <laughs> so it's open 24 hours but you know look at some of these levels look at these touches uh, it's respected this uh, shorted here uh, and got out here at this trend line right here at this bounce because I expected it to bounce again and here we are bear flag setup again so let's see what happens um, I don't know what happens here I don't know how to play this after this until it gets back uh, you know up here uh, maybe it tests the ADMA uh, but I'm I'm a spectator now at this point I've I've, uh, I've played it for you know three or four days now it's 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 it's, uh, it's fun again so sticking to you know probably playing one or two crypto names at a time and and, and not doing anything crazy I don't have a long watch list of uh, of crypto names. You know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Luna uh, are the only things that I'm looking at right now. So uh, I am excited for the week ahead. I believe we have tons of opportunity. Um, I will do one live stream for sure, possibly two this week. Um, I will have a market uh, midweek market update just because we have so many earnings. And uh, I believe we get some volatility this week. So um, I always, always, always thank you guys for uh, taking the time to watch these, whether you watch them all the way through or not. Um, if it's been helpful to you, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Uh, if you're not subscribed and you and you found this of value, um, do me a favor and please hit that subscribe button, share it as well. And uh, I will see you guys this week.